Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to export each database table to separate SQL file with data in the MySQL Workbench. So let's uh, go to Workbench and uh, here we can uh, take a look how we can uh, do that. So I was just testing this one. Uh, I'm going to close this. Uh, first of all, you will be connected to the MySQL server. Uh, you will go to home and then uh, you will choose uh, whatever the server you would like to connect to. In my case, I'm going to connect to one of the server called the MySQL Linux. Uh, I have a uh, different databases here. So I have TBIT, Tech Brothers, and I would like to export uh, this uh, Tech Brothers IT database tables. Uh, so let me make uh, some space so you can see the whole table structure. There are three tables in this uh, database. Uh, I would like to export them. I'm going to go right here. You can see that data export and uh, now i will be able to select uh, the schema or database um, in this case we are going to select tech versus it and here we have different options uh, such as uh, dump structure and data we if we want to just create the dump data only or dump uh, structure only so we have options to create a uh, different uh, scripts um, i'm going to go ahead and dump uh, structure and data because i would like to create the definition as well okay the very first option uh, that we have here uh, uh, is the export to dump project folder so if we choose this uh, export to dump project folder what happen uh, then each uh, table will be uh, written to the separate uh, file i have done this export to self contained file uh, that uh, each and every table and data will go to one uh, dot sql file but if you have select export to dump project folder then uh, a, a fold in the folder you will have a uh, dot sql file for each of the table okay great now we if you want to dump uh, store procedure and function dump events dump triggers uh, you can select those as well if you want to exclude something uh, you can just uh, click on the exclude button here uh, and just uh, uncheck this part of it okay so now i'm going to go navigate to one of the folder i created called the backup okay we go to the backup folder here i'm going to delete whatever it's uh, in the backup folder now let me run this uh, start export and uh, okay folder already exists that's fine i know that override it yes and here is the progress so, so it is telling which table it is exporting right now and uh, this is a uh, completed uh, let's go to the folder now and uh, take a look uh, if you guys notice we have uh, all that uh, uh, tables so tech pages it that schema then underscore table name so let's open one of them and take a look what we have there this uh, uh, the file open in the our uh, workbench and you can see that uh, these are uh, just the comments here then it is a uh, set the uh, names utf f8 and the uh, drop table then we have a uh, create table def uh, here and then uh, we will have uh, insert uh, uh, statements uh, for the uh, in this uh, table we don't have records probably so that's one of the reason it didn't uh, show us anything so let's go to the employee edit and here we can see that there are a lot of data so I, if I, I can double click and open with the workbench it's going to open default with the workbench so you can see uh, right now I have uh, these insert into all these values so the data was uh, the structure was created with insert statements okay so this is how you will uh, export uh, each of the table to separate uh, dot sql file let's uh, do one quick uh, test again uh, and uh, what we will do in this one we will only create uh, the structure so we will just uh, if we want to create only the scripts for create tables uh, so we will use that uh, let's connect to it quickly we have tables here let's say tbit these are the different tables here we have i'm going to go to the data export and then i'm going to select tbit here and the only structure so i don't want anything else just a structure and let's choose the folder backup folder and the export to dump project folder start export override yes now let's go back to the folder and you can see that uh, the file uh, is created for each of the table if we open it we should be seeing uh, the create statements uh, for each of the table so if it is uh, existing it will drop it and then uh, recreate uh, the table there is no data in it okay so if we go back uh, department uh, you can see that uh, the same thing so we do not have insert statements uh, for that because we have selected only the 
uh, the structure so it uh, will only drop and recreate the table uh. so thanks very much for watching this video you can use this script for migration uh, and it will help uh, like as you have uh, written uh, the data to each different file uh, so if you want to export or uh, import a single table uh, you can only run for that uh, file uh, instead of uh, having all the tables in one uh, file and you when you import it is get harder like okay you have to import the whole file thanks and i will see you guys in next video